Dude, I am sick and tired of all these warrior builds, oh. bro. Now you're probably wondering like, yo, what, what, what do you mean? And talking about all these warrior builds that like, they say they're the best warrior in Arcane Odyssey. And then you end up clicking on the video, right? And it shows either one or two things. It shows a build that has like no health, but hella power. Or it'll show builds with too much health, no power. Like at that point, you're just saying knife. Like, what are you doing, bro? You look goofy. You should at least have both defense and offense. Like, I feel like you should be balanced, you know? You should have both defense, power, and speed. And what I mean by speed is like, people really don't take advantage of like, uh, their attack speed and their agility. Cause like, as a warrior, I feel like you should be like super fast. Like you shouldn't really allow your enemies to get like a opening or attack an opening. Like you want to like do your attack and then immediately dash and then do another attack, you know? So your enemy doesn't like get the chance to hit you with a super strong move. And I'm talking about like mages, like, cause like they hit hard, bro. They're like bring that as out. So the build I have right now, it's like everything is like balance like i took everything into consideration so this is what i have right and i'm gonna explain my stats and why i chose them but first i'm gonna just read to you 57 power 649 defense 647 i mean 34 attack size 84 attack speed and 34 agility so let's start off with agility the reason i have 34 agility is because i don't want to be too slow what I mean by that is like I want to be able to hit my enemy and then like dash away and then you know dash back you know what I'm saying I always want to be like on my toes I want to like jump around the arena so they like they have time to like find me and by the time they do I'll just like attack them and then jump around again like I don't want to stay in like one spot you feel me that's why I kind of have like 34 agility because it changes up your movement speed and your jump speed also makes you jump way higher than you should oh damn the lag was crazy on that but yeah uh, so that's why i have 34 jody 84 attack speed now the reason i have 84 attack speed is because with moves like twin crescents you're always like in the air or like stuck as you use those moves for like two seconds and in those two seconds they can easily hit you with like a like an attack that does like 800 of your health basically i'm talking for like if you're writing like a mage a glass cannon mage you don't want to like stay in the sky for too long or like stay on the ground for too long you want to like do your attack and then finish and then just like jump away or block immediately and that's why i like i have 84 attack speed so attack size um i have 34 because I want my attacks to actually land like I do an attack and I know it's gonna land you know what I'm saying so that's why you gotta have like good AoE sometimes it's very important for warrior that's if you also don't have good aim because like I'm gonna be honest with you my aim is actually like so bad like it's, it's really bad so attack size always comes in handy when you just want to you know make sure you land an attack and shit 649 defense I feel like I shouldn't really explain this because if you're going glass cannon and again if you're fighting a mage they'll literally like three tap you bro it's just not worth to go glass cannon like I understand having like 150 power but bro if you have no defense to back it up if you're fighting a really good player you're just gonna get tossed every single time and I feel like defense is very important like 1600 health it's it's that's that's pretty okay that's actually really good like you don't need like 2000 health or like 1900 health you know what i'm saying just have like at least more than 900 so that you can at least take some attacks but like you know you're not like dead in like three hits and uh for my power is 57 so 57 power right it's not the best but it's not like bad at all either i feel like i could have gotten more but i want to focus on the rest of my stats as i said before i mean yeah i could have like 
change up attack speed a bit but as i said before you know i'm trying to attack fast and then get out of the way you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to stay put as they like get an open shot on me like i don't want that you know i want to be able to attack finish it go on to the next attack finish it and 57 power as of right now my attacks do a lot of damage like it's actually pretty decent like i mean it could be better but like for now at least my attacks are like they're pretty they're pretty solid i would say like the scimitar of storm i do i do like 92 per m1 uh silent blades i think i do like 84 and then common Kai saber i think it's also 84 i'm not sure but i'll probably showcase like the pvp side and you guys will probably like see all the skills and shit so weapon enchants I'm not gonna lie, my weapon enchants are kind of random. Like, I have Swift on Skin Touch of Storm. I have Strong on Silent Blades. Actually, that's good. That's really good. Because for Beast Instinct, I do... I think to the max is like 88, and then base is like uh, 66. Which isn't bad, it's actually really good. And then Common Card Saber, Bursting. I mean, it's kind of random, but I think it affects like um, the attack size a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Have like that huge AoE and shit. So that's kind of the the gear I have on. Actually, let me show uh, the stats. So I have strong on the King Ravenna's uh, cape. 22 power, six, 16 attack size, 16 agility. I have swift on the armor. Now I, I could lie and say I wanted more agility, but I don't know. It's just a random enchant. I, I might change it soon. Uh, 20, 21 power, 18 attack size, 18 attack speed, and then 18 agility. I got this from the forest boss. These three items right here. The boots, the, um, the accessory, whatever. I don't know what it's called. And the amulet. The amulet has hard, so it has more defense. Uh, cause I could've, I could've put power, but I wanted to get like 1,600 health instead of having like 1,500. Because defense is always good to have. And then these two um these two equipment have like uh strong on them. 24 attack size, 175 defense, uh seven power. And then seven power, 175 defense, and then you know, 24 attack speed. 24 attack speed. Which is pretty good. I feel like uh it's overall really really balanced and shit. You know, I have both defense and offense. I'm not like I'm not like, uh, how can I say it? Like, I'm not like, um, I don't lead more to the other side, you know? Like, I don't have too much power and I don't have too much defense. I'm kind of like, um, in the middle. And I feel like you should, like, center your build around being balanced. Because if you have way too much defense and barely any power, you're, you're just playing knight at that point. Like, you're not doing no damage. Sure, you can take a lot of hits. But like at that like if, if you're bad at like um let's say aiming and shit and if you're like stuck in place all the time then you're just taking free hits and you're just gonna end up losing matches and then i mean yeah you could go glass cannon too but at that point like i can land three attacks on you and you're just dead so it's really up to you but i like to play balanced i feel like that's how warriors should be having both defense and offense and i'll probably show pvp in like probably like two seconds